Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how to reflect a shape over a line of reflection. Uh, and there are lots of different ways that you can do it, but this time I'm going to show you specifically how to do it by using some math tools, a protractor, and a ruler. I mean, we could think of this in terms of folding paper. We could fold paper over and do lots of different uh, methods, but it's important to know how to actually use a protractor and to use the ruler. Uh, so first of all, before we even begin, let's just try to visualize what this is going to look like. This is the line of reflection, and we're going to take this triangle and reflect it over. Point C is located right on the reflection line. So anytime you have a point directly on the line of reflection, when you do the reflection, it's not going to move. So point C is going to be here uh, before and after the reflection. It's points A and B that are going to move. So we can think of this uh, triangle as starting here, we're going to just kind of flop it over onto the other side. So these two points will just move right over here. Point B will end up around in here and point A will end up about here. And so then we'll have our triangle over here. So I think it's important to start by just trying to visualize what the final image is going to look like before you get down in the details of moving each point. But um, So it's good to visualize moving the whole triangle, but unfortunately when we actually do the reflection on paper, we have to do it one point at a time. So let's start with point B. When point B is reflected over, the new point B, or the point called B prime, will be over here. And if we draw a line from point B to B prime, this line will cross the reflection line at a 90 degree angle. The line from B to B prime will be perpendicular to the line of reflection. So the first step that we're going to do here is we are going to actually draw a line from B that crosses the reflection line at a 90 degree angle. And so for that we will need our protractor. And I think the toughest part about using the protractor is figuring out how to lay it down on the paper. How do we want to do this? And so the way I'm going to suggest is let's put the center of the protractor right on the reflection line. So there, it'll either have a little point or some protractors have a little hole uh, marked in there. But put that right on the reflection line. Let's also put the 90 degree mark right on the reflection line. And finally, let's take this line. I don't know how well you can see details uh, on this video, but there's a line right here that starts at zero and goes all the way across to 180. Let's move that line until it exactly touches point B. So at this point, we've got this line touching point B, extending all the way over here, and we know that it is exactly 90 degrees away from this reflection line. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So this line here is perpendicular to the uh, to the line of reflection. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to put a little mark here on the paper right there at that line so that when I move my protractor away if I connect this mark to point B I'll be drawing that perpendicular line on the paper. So I'll just move it aside I'll use my ruler here and I will connect point B to that mark I just made on the paper and we now know that this line that I drew is exactly 90 degrees uh, from the reflection line. It's exactly perpendicular. So point B, when it rotates, when it, I'm sorry, when it reflects over, it will fall on this line somewhere. How do we know where? That's the trick. And we also know that whatever distance point B is from the reflection line, when you reflect it over, the new point B, B prime, should be the exact same distance from the reflection line. So if I take my ruler and I just measure this distance, it looks to me like I've got about 2.8 centimeters is this distance from point B to the reflection line, 2.8 centimeters. So when I reflect point B over, it'll land on this line and it will be exactly 2.8 centimeters from the reflection line on the other side. So there, right there is going to be my B 
prime. So that is b prime right there. So we're actually halfway done now. All I need to do is I need to do the exact same steps for point A, and then I am connect my new points, and we have our reflection. So let's just do it again, exactly as we did before. Step one, we need a line that goes from A that crosses the reflection line at a 90 degree angle. In other words, it is perpendicular to the line of reflection. So I'm going to take my protractor, I'm going to put the center of the protractor on my reflection line. I'm going to make sure 90 degrees is on my reflection line. And I'm going to move or slide my protractor until this line that goes from 0 degrees to 180 degrees is and also go, passes right through this hole here or the center of my protractor that line exactly touches point A. And now it does, so this line is now exactly 90 degrees from my reflection line. I'm going to put a little mark right there. Let's connect point A to that mark. This line now is uh, perpendicular. It is a right angle to the reflection line, so when this shape reflects over, point A will land somewhere on this line. The next step though is where will point A be on this line, the new A prime, after we do the reflection. And of course, just like we did over here, the answer is the distance from the line to point A is going to remain the same. So whatever this distance is originally, we'll measure the same distance this way. So let's just measure it. I line my ruler up here and it looks to me like it is exactly 4.5 centimeters from the reflection line. So the new point A will also be 4.5 centimeters from the reflection line. So let's just measure from here. There's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and a half, 4.5. So there is my mark and right there, I'll make it a little darker, there is our new point A. In other words, our A prime. And it is also 4.5 centimeters. So point B was, originally was 2.8 from the reflection line. The new point B is 2.8 from the reflection line. The final thing is let's connect our points. Remember C is already on the reflection line, so it's not going to move. So let's just connect our points and get our new triangle. So we'll connect A prime to B prime. We'll connect B prime to C. And let's connect C back to A. And there is our reflected triangle. B reflected over to point B prime. A reflects over to A prime. C, which is on the line of reflection, does not move, and we are finished. So, if you want to see this in words, I also have it typed up here, the steps that I did. F feel free to look at this if you'd like, um, but here, how to reflect the shape over a line. Step one, we drew a perpendicular line from each point through the reflection line. Step two, we had to measure the distance of each point from the reflection line. Step three, once we measured that distance, we measured the same distance going the other direction on that reflection line. And step four was we marked our new point. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. Feel free to copy this down um, from the video if you would like to pause it and take a look at that, if that would help. Um, but hopefully this makes it understandable. Like I said earlier in the video, the trickiest part, I think, is just figuring out, okay, I need to do something with my protractor. How am I going to lay this down on the paper uh, to measure out that 90-degree angle? Uh, but hopefully, this video will help clear that up for you.